What's up, YouTube? Chris from Team Innovation here, bringing you guys another episode of Dueling Network Duel series. And I made a decision for the Dueling Network Duels. Instead of bringing you guys a long triple threat match with the main event at the end, I feel like I just bring you guys the main event, and that's pretty much it. So, at the end of this duel, and at the end of you guys seeing it, let me know in the comment section down below. Do you guys prefer long, drawn out 15 minute duels with the main event at the end? Or do you guys prefer the short duels, four to five minutes long, sped up, of course, to just get your day by? Because I prefer, I feel like honestly, some people would rather watch something quick versus just watching something for 15 minutes long. Because not everyone has a lot of time to be on YouTube. So, this is a little experiment I'm doing, guys. All my DN duels will not be like this way. And majority of the time, I'm trying to bring you guys live duels anyway. It's just, when I can't, I want to bring you guys dual videos once a week. So when I can't bring you guys live duels, I'm definitely gonna try to bring you guys dueling network duels, which is why I'm bringing you guys this dual network duel now. Now officially, this duel was supposed to be uploaded on Sunday. Today is Monday, but due to me having my son's birthday yesterday, he turned three. I had to push the dual video back to this Monday. And yeah, so this video is technically counted towards last week's set of videos, and this week's set of videos probably won't start until Tuesday night or Wednesday, mainly because I have finals this week at school, and I'm not going to be able to upload a lot of stuff. I'm not going to be able to record a lot of things I'm studying. I'll be currently studying by the time you guys watch this video. So, in this video, I was playtesting out Dark Bribe instead of Lance to see how Dark Bribe worked, and it was okay. I mean... In the, in the same situation, Lance would have did the same thing, protected me from Book of Moon. If you guys are kind of confused on the situation we had with Book of Moon, basically he played it fast without. Cause when I brought out Dark Claw, he didn't give me a chance to respond. So I wanted to use Dark Claw to fast. So I'm like, hold on, wait, put it back in your hand first. And pretty much when I selected the card in his hand and banished it, he chained Book of Moon. And I'm like, okay, Dark Bride. And Lance would have did the same thing, just in case there was any, any confusion right there. So he did the summons of Unicorn and and the Senju guy and the Valkyrias. And he tried to attack over me with Valkyrias. And I met him with the Phoenix Chain. And on this time, I ripped the Goblin Burg. So I'm like, okay, instead of summoning Blaze, man, I just go Goblin Burg, special summon out. Which really didn't make any difference, honestly, because I'm just gonna go out and grab Polly to try to make Nova Master with um Mist and Blazeman in hand. So my specific goal was to make Nova Master run over Unicorn, which unfortunately is gonna get met with the gun in his hand. But as you guys can see, this duel is pretty much wrapped up in a bag. Like heroes have a big advantage over Necros. Which the re which there's a which is the reason why a lot of Necros players say they hate playing against heroes. I mean, I also met a lot of Necros players also saying the opposite, like that heroes is a terrible deck and they don't really care about playing it. But you guys can see, heroes is an amazing deck. It just it rests the best deck in the format, but it kind of loses to the other two decks, which is the Talonites and Shadows. What well, isn't flat out losing against the Talonites? It's kind of like a 50 50 game, depending on who has what. But Dolls is pretty much a manslaughter for heroes because they both, they, most Doll Bearers now are running two to three dragons and two to three Squig Models. So all they have to do is set a dragon or a Squig Model and they can pretty much run over Dark Law. Or they can do some damage, they can do some battle phase plays with El Shadow Fusion and your Dark Law. But as you guys can see, he has one card left and he's just going to run on Goblin Bird. And he's pretty much just gonna pass his turn. And this dude is pretty much wrapped up in a bad because I'm gonna go Zephyros and Bubble Man. So, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up to your support. Remember to comment down in the comment section below. Longer duels, 15 minutes long, versus shorter, quick little duels to get your day by. Once again, this is Chris from Team Innovation, and I'm signing out. And of course, I do these videos. So I truly believe in how you guys can become better players, and I also do these videos to truly believe in you guys help me become a better player. And I also, to add a third thing to it, do these videos to bring you guys entertainment because I love bringing you guys entertainment videos. So, Chris from Team Innovation, signing out. See you guys either this Wednesday or this Tuesday night. And I'm out. Peace.